Hey guys, it's Potato Fry. Uh, my brother's gonna watch Game of Thrones right next door, so if you hear it, I apologize. So, um, I'm just gonna talk about my disability. Um, the reason why I'm talking about this, just so you know more about me. And for me to know more about myself. There you go. So, um, my disability is a language processing delay or as known as an auditory um, processing delay. Um, so that means that I'm unable to understand some dialogue. Um, like there would be a time where people would try to explain to me things and it would just go through my mind. Like I feel so bad. I had friends that talk about something they love like long, like long time and it just, sorry, I didn't understand. But I hate to make people repeat, so I'm really sorry if I don't understand. Um, I also have a hard time following directions. Um, so, yeah. So, like, when someone's trying to... For example, yesterday I went to the mall, and um, at Hot Topic, it was some... Um, he told me what it was. can't remember what it is. And it's all, like, stuff. So, it's like, I need a person to be next to me. So then they could tell me an easier way for me to understand. Um, during, I guess, K-12, through even now, um, at Ohlone, I do take tests outside of class because I get really distracted. For example, Game of Thrones next door. <laughs> so then I would have to go to a different room and take a test and I would have more time. Um, I was diagnosed with my disability since I was two years old, I went to Cabello Elementary School. It's not, no longer there. But at the time, um, I took hearing tests. Uh, I think I took hearing tests um, somewhere else, though. Because I was tested for a lot of things. Hearing, um, autism, whatever. Um, because I didn't speak. So they thought maybe something was going on um I think that's yeah so I went to Cabello and I got tested um I forgot what's called the test but I have a test where they measure your IQ and your performance so I did a diagram I apologize it's so hard to see and it's probably like flipped don't know hard to tell so this is the IQ meter and there's performance and usually for IQ it'd be um with the average above and performance would be average and below and in order to get into the research program like I was it has to be 30 points so I was qualified for that program I would always feel embarrassed during elementary school slash middle school only because it was like I, I was always pulled out of classes I would always have to go to speech it seemed like twice a week or once a week kind of like that um, I would also have to go into reading, um, like a small group that works on reading skills, and I would always feel so embarrassed because my classmates were like, where'd you go? And I would always have to explain myself, it's like, do I have to explain myself? And it's kind of hard to say why, because at the time I didn't understand that I had a disability. I didn't really understand I had a language processing delay. So, um, I just said I had to go somewhere. <laughs> um, I am distracted by Game of Thrones again. Um, yeah, again with the, the hearing thing, I had a story um, when I was a senior, and this is one of my classes that I had. Um, we had a substitute teacher. He was like, talking to me this is our distance so he was like sitting on the table thing and I was and he was talking to me and I mm, don't know I have no idea what he said and then I told him I was hard of hearing then I was like wait I'm not hard of hearing but I couldn't hear him so it's like whoa what is you know it's like I was so confused like how do I even explain it's like I could hear the smallest noise like the Game of Thrones next door to me or anything but I cannot hear someone say like I don't know talking about something and I'm like 
sorry. Can I say? In middle school, I remember I used to do IEPs, which is called um, Individual Education Plan. That's where they um, have your parents, or parents, I think it's just one. I don't know. My mom always just went. So anyways, it's my mom, and then my resource carrier, and my teacher, and we would talk about how I'm doing and what things I needed. And I remember them telling me, like, you can never learn a language. Because during the time I was, we do this activity thing, like a quarter, like we changed, we did drama, art, Spanish. And with languages, um, it is so hard for me to understand because they go so fast. So then it was like I had to go back and do drama again, so then I wouldn't have to do Spanish. I would have loved to do Spanish. But then it was kind of like the pressure of like, how do you not know? You're so stupid. Stupid. I hate when people say, like, it's like, just because I have a disability, I'm stupid. It's like, I conquered so much and you say I'm stupid. So what? I don't care. Anyways, I took three years of ASL. So that's a language right there. Even though it's not spoken, it's at least a language that I remember. And at Ohlone, I have a year of Japanese. It may not be fluent. It may not be perfect, but at least I learned a language. So I am proud of myself. And how dare someone say I cannot learn a language? Even after high school, um, I continued using the resources there. My goals for myself: I would write in the planner, and then I would have like a note taker. Um, for things that I miss because oh yeah my auditory is not good I mean I could hear the smallest things like I just heard a crack over there but even though I know more about my disability it's still a struggle with me today because it affects me definitely in school and even in if I start working it is sometimes hard to understand um, directions so I mostly like to work kinesthetically or visually. For you out there who have the same disability as me, things will be okay, you know. I know it seems really tough right now, but you just gotta keep, you gotta like do what you gotta do for help to help you learn because your learning is so important. So don't let anyone say like, oh, you're not able to do this. You can. It may be so hard, but you're able to do it. I promise you. Those out there who don't have my disability and have some form of disability or not, you'll be just... We're all in this together. We all struggle together. You know, just because if you don't have a disability, I'm sure that you're struggling some way. And if you have a disability, you're not alone. Because there's people out there who are like you and who also will help you. They're willing to help. So thanks for watching. Um, I know this video was kind of awkward. Uh, I have bad lighting, the sun's going down, and I have my lamp, and I have this shiny, and I was distracted. I apologize. Thanks for watching. Bye.